The early morning meeting was called at the Foreign Affairs Ministry after a section of the press reported that President Kibaki had shamed the UK by not honoring an official invitation to visit the former Kenya colonial master. According to Foreign Affairs Minister, President Kibaki and any other sitting president receives numerous foreign invitations on a regular basis. Ongeri goes further to say, President only accepts invitation based on his itinerary, national activities and immediate priorities and may assign any other state official if deemed necessary not to attend in person. The Foreign Affairs Minister says that invitations that are honored must serve to fulfill national agenda and will benefit the country. Kenya enjoys cordial and mutual relationship with the United Kingdom. We have never lost track of that and we have respected each other peers. Even at our heads of government's level, there is that candid mutual respect for one another. It's based on um, very strong uh, contacts between ordinary people, Kenyans uh, who live in the UK or visit the UK, uh, and British people who uh, live here or come here uh, for business or for tourism. A section of the press had reported Monday that President Kibaki had refused to honor a personal invitation to UK based on an earlier allegation that UK was working with ICC to have President Kibaki indicted by ICC after leaving office. His Excellency the President has utmost respect for Her Majesty the Queen of Britain. And therefore, that should never be in doubt whatsoever. A parliamentary group is still investigating the letter that was tabled in parliament early last month. Eron Ochen, KTN Prime.